two weeks ago, I was helping a neighbor cut down a tree that fell down in his yard, and it was a maple. So we cut it, and the sap was flowing like crazy. So I go, oh, I got to get the buckets going. Well, I've been tapping maple trees probably 15 years or so. Um, I had a wood stove, and I always put a bucket of water on the wood stove to keep the you know, humidity up in the house. So I thought, why don't I just go tap some maple trees and throw the buckets on the wood stove? Oh, look at that, dripping down the tree. Can you see it? So I was doing that, and uh, I had some student groups interested in um, tapping as well. So we tapped maybe uh, half a dozen trees. And like I said, that's the part that's worked. The rest of it, I mean, if you know how to boil water, you can make maple syrup. Well, my job at the college is a, it's a maintenance job, you know, doing the snow removal, mowing the grass and things like that. So the interaction with the students, it's just a, it's a whole different part of a, of a job, which I don't think most people in, in their jobs every day get to have those relationships with students. Joyce and I call them our, our kids. So we, it's like having an extended family and going back to uh, probably even 1989 when I started at the college. Oh. Oh boy, that smells good. You start to think that, oh, this is great. The winter's over, you know, we're starting to collect. So, but, uh, you know, who knows? We might get a blizzard next week, but uh, this is great. Just Cheers. being out here doing this and sun shining and the sap's flowing. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm.